so do we gonna do something different uh, a lot of you guys ask uh, where I catch my Mars or how I catch my Mars so I did a previous video a while back with how to throw a cast net I'm gonna include that as well in this video this is Cypress Park beautiful day today you can see everything uh, for Moharas I uh, recommend you need UV glasses because it's tough to see them but if you don't have them just just cast this blind cast you're gonna cast them so you have to find a sandy area like this shallow not too deep it's high tide right now might not be a lot of them I recommend low tide you catch as many as you want sometime uh, five minutes you fill bucket you know you have a bucket full of Mars sometime like me you have to go hours and try to catch 10 20 of them do they look good I don't know I haven't checked the water yet so I'm gonna just start with the uh, where to find them and cast netting so this is a nice area I like this part right here you know I always find Mojarras or you can go all over the other side you know and just check the beach I always find Mojarras there but sandy muddy area like that you always have Mojarras skinny waters low tide I'll prefer and I'm using a six foot three eight uh, mesh net okay guys let's start with the cast net so you're gonna put you're gonna have everything on your right hand I mean if you're lefty you're gonna have everything on your left but you're gonna have everything in my case I'm right-handed so everything on your right make those coils nice and even you know you want those just to you don't want to tangle because if you tangle your cast net it's not gonna open I have a longer rope on this because I use it on bridges and piers uh, if you buy a cast net that comes with a shorter rope I'll recommend upgrade on that cheap investment but uh, worthy catch your bait everywhere leave like a couple inches here just like that that's where you grab your net halfway down make sure no tangles mine has a lot a lot of holes I, I said my last video I'm gonna fix it but it never happened I'm still using it so just halfway and make this this kind of you want to see this right there so one more time grab it right there go halfway down and make sure you make another coil another ring right here so you want to see this right there boom this goes on top everything that you're gonna put they're gonna go on top so I want all the first rope you had in your hand on the bottom so just like that get half of your net and you're gonna go back under your thumb again just like that so half is down here half has to be up here and you can just grab this and throw if you want but it's like you have to spin like harder so in my case I grab another two three feet of, of, of this net and go again under my thumb here and just like that I'm ready right now I grab this with my left I swing doesn't matter how hard you just aim with this style I like it because you aim and you throw where you want to this goes like half a second left so you're gonna let all the right hand go half a second then let this this is gonna open your net very important so I like this style because I walk I check where the bait is just grab this I'm ready to throw so let's see if uh, Moharas are here like I said I like this area it's high tide it's not as many low tide you have a ton of them so let's uh blind cast in this area here and we're gonna move on farther and find them so there you go guys swing all the right goes half a second you leave the left yeah usually I catch them like a couple of feet away you don't need to go deep for Moharas Moharas are all around here guys there you go stay like this you have to collect one by one couple like this this time I have like three four which is not bad a good size like three of them in this size this is a perfect mangrove snapper size this is a candy guys you can catch all other species snook and uh, grouper and redfish whatever you can catch almost all the species that are there but we targeting mangrove snappers and this is the perfect size so yeah same thing let me try again demonstrate that and you get the point let's collect them now Make 
you got? We got another one. So we got four. Yeah, we got like four of them. Good size too. Same thing guys. On your right hand. Make those coils even in your hand. Very important. Everything you have to check because if your net is tangled, it's not gonna open. So pick that up, check it out first for any tangles. Halfway down, grab it right here, just like that. It's gonna go on top right here, guys. Boom, everything have to be under your thumb. Half of the net, back in the same place, upwards. You have half of the net down and half is upwards. And make sure you grab the, the one in your side, or how I gonna say it. You see how it's separated on two? You grab the one in your side go under your thumb again and you walk guys as far as you want you have you're ready you don't need to you see mullets especially they run fast until you ready with your net they're gone so this way you just grab and throw just like that guys that's let's do it that way let's see let's say right there I don't know I don't see them this little far but let's say they are there you just come here you go and you throw, no waiting. If they're there, you'll catch them, guys. Oh, that's a lot of them, actually. More than last time. Some finger mullets, too. Uh, I wanna talk about finger mullets and greenbacks. So, greenbacks are my second choice for uh, mangrove snappers, and finger mullets, the small ones, are my third choice. They catch you a lot. They catch you all the species. So when I don't find my mohoros, look at that guys, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Perfect size. Uh, this size or smaller is good on, on mullets. Mohoros, this is a perfect size guys, perfect size. Look at that. Look at that beauty right there. It'll catch you a 13, 14 inch mangrove snapper. So, let me put those on the bucket. Them nice and live, one of dead. They work dead as well, so yeah, even if they die, don't don't throw them away. They work, but I prefer nice and lively uh, mohara guys. So I guess I don't want to bore you with this. You get the point. So we're gonna we're gonna do the all this shore, all the sandy area. We're gonna go by the beach. But I guess I'm gonna have plenty more hearts just in this little area right here. Today it looks like they're right here, so that area I'm gonna work. I guess you get the point. Let me finish catching them and I'll see you on the fishing ground. Look at that guys. I wasn't filming. We're here on the fishing spot. I'm gonna try to catch those mangroves with my horse. It already happened, but I wasn't filming. I'm my buddy Carlos here. Uh, we're fishing with Lowe's. Check him out. Uh, I got some nice content for you guys. He joined me on this trip. Uh, this is like what 13, 14 inch we got with that big Mahara. But I wasn't filming, so I'm ready right now to put a Mahara. Okay, guys, we're ready. Uh, it's a little windy. I don't know if the wind noise, I don't think it'll be bad. It's raining, so we have to stay under this bridge. Our second cast. Right now, so you know, 
don't need that much weight. But that's the key, guys. That's the key bait right there. Okay, look at that. Moharas. Look at him. I go under the chin, come out through his head, but don't go too deep on his eyes so you don't kill him just like that. Tiny hook. Look at that. It's Mohara. That's the trick. the results of a nice size mohara and a nice size mangrove snapper so there you have it I think we ended this video right here this was more about how to cast net and how to find and catch mohoras of course I'm catching so I'm here with my buddy Carlos with uh, fishing with Lowe's check him out I'll leave the link down in my description that's it for today i hope you liked this video if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one